when the platypus was discovered by the English in the 18th century, and the first drawings came to the United Kingdom from Australia, scientists at the time concluded that it was an elaborate hoax, or a joke. An animal with hair, duck's beak, beaver's tail, otter's legs, which is also a mammal but lays eggs, where its offspring are born, it has venom in one of its claws, and it has milk but it does not have udders, but rather it expels directly through the mother's gut to feed its young, it simply could not exist. Until the first specimens fell into the hands of those scientists, and then discovered the strangest and unspeakable animal on the planet. Two centuries later, Australian CSIRO researchers using protein crystallization techniques have discovered that platypus milk contains a unique protein that acts as a potent antibacterial protector that could be used as an effective drug to fight superbugs. They have managed to replicate the molecular structure in 3D and have discovered a unique composition that does not occur in any other animal protein analyzed. Scientists believe that platypus milk has these properties because it goes outside through the mother's gut and comes into contact with water and air before the young engulf it. This antibacterial protection would prevent newborns from becoming contaminated when drinking milk. The protein is already being used to prepare medicines that will help fight against superbugs that are resistant to conventional drugs, which they have become accustomed to. The discovery of unique substances in plants and animals that help create new medicines is one of the key reasons why doctors ask to fight against the extinction of species. Saving an animal or a plant, beyond its beauty or its condition of being alive, can save us life in the near future.